of the cosmos. And maybe a second drink as And well, maybe a second cause... drink as but, well. But I have a question. Yeah. I have a question. So if um, if I'm reading my horoscope from today and mm-hmm. I have to do some, my financials, <laughs> if I am going to die today, mm-hmm. why, why should I do those financials? What, where is it in that horoscope that says I'm going to die? Because it helps with your, your benefactors and your loved ones to not saddle with your financial You're uncertainty. Dead. But I'm dead. Yeah, you don't give a and shit. And you know what? You get life insurance money, so. <laughs> um, Adam <laughs> asked on Twitch, uh, if I buy the entire constellation, do I control the horoscope? Yes, you do, yes, Adam. Yes, you yes, do. If you, if you own that constellation, you're in charge of the uh, future. You got. You have the planets. Mm-hmm. You have any supernova that happened. You have any galaxies that happened. You have any horoscopes that happened. Any horoscopes that happened. Now, let's say, let's say. But you have to get one of the 13. Let's say you buy a constellation and some enterprising culture builds Death Star to blow up a planet. Are you technically, legally, um, you know, is that your fault? Because no. you own that? Is that under your jurisdiction? No, it's like Twitter no. and Facebook. Yeah. You're, no, you're not no responsible liability. for anything that happens. No yeah, nice. Um, yes. Oh, oh, and apparently, uh, Jack on Twitch, death was handled by Pluto position. Yeah, when Pluto's in retrograde, then everybody's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing one year on Pluto is only 235 years long. Yeah, but it still it, it, it retrogrades every year, though. It, it does make the little loopy loops. You know what doesn't do retro, tre- retrograde motion? Venus and Mercury. Yes, they do. Oh, God damn it. What doesn't do retrograde? Every That's day sad. we have this com- uh, every time we have this conversation, Mercury and Venus will go up, but then they'll head back down towards the sun. So they'll go they'll go a little All bit. All right, backwards. look, people stop citing retrograde motion as a thing that affects your life. It doesn't. It just is an illusion in the sky. It's an illusion, Michael. It's an illusion. The planets don't actually go backwards. No, they don't. And you know they what? just the look like they do. holograms by the US military anyway. So what the fuck are we arguing about? It's the Matrix. All right. Since we're in the hangover, uh, Brandon, do you need to go get a second drink or you got one? I would like a second drink. All right. Brandon's going to go get a second drink. Whatever gets you through the day, like astrology. (laughs) And I definitely need to weird weird you. Weird you some of these. I know. Weird out. Read read some of these horoscopes. (laughs) I'm excited about these. I'm excited about these. All right. Brandon's... uh... (laughs) Oh, oh, I Katie, went down a rabbit hole. Katie is a uh, she's got a giant glass of rosé and ready for her reading with psychic Liz. I'm I'm here. <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Let's get this going. All right. So we're going to read Katie's here. Um All right. Your dark side. And Katie, let me know if this aligns with you, okay? Or any other Tauruses that are out there. Uh let me know if you feel a connection with this. All right. Oh, she's going to feel a connection. Okay. Astrology is real. You are an obsessive, possessive manipulator with an unquenchable lust for power and a penchant for degradation. Oh. Is it on point so far? Wow. <laughs> You're intense, ruthless, and domineering. This is fun. Holy like shit. This. Like, oh, her uh, bitch rating, A+. Plus. Uh, people are so <laughs> frightened of you that you don't have to bother much. But, <laughs> but what's the point of a sting in the tail if you don't use it? I love how Adam goes yeah. to a T. <laughs> uh, oh, your planet is Pluto. Ooh, Cold hey. and distant, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> that was beautiful. Uh, uh, let's see. Um... <laughs> I gotta get to the, I don't have these bookmarked like I did uh, the uh, the other one. Oh, oh, for sex. Oh God. I don't know if I want to. But obsessive, relentless, illicit. <laughs> Would it like most sex be illicit though? I mean, is that I, the, like the point? You are you are well aware of the difference between love and sex (parentheses), which is why you make really hot sex workers and bunk buddies. Oh, but you friends. don't care if others aren't. <laughs> wow. Really? In relationships, you're a remote controller. Uh, for work, you have a competitive spirit. 
Uh, and your dream jobs are secret agent or city analyst. Secret agent would be really cool, secret though. Secret agent would be cool. <laughs> but to go from secret agent to city analyst? No, that's a big... Well, let's not go with city oh, analyst. Oh, no, no, no. City, like, so fast, guys. City analyst, you get paid to spend all day playing with other people's money. Yeah, but still, you know, what, what comes to mind is, like, the movie True Lies, <laughs> where Arnold Schwarzenegger plays as, like, uh, I don't know... "Quote unquote city planner kind mm -hmm. of role, uh, and but he's really a oh yeah he, he'll shoot you yeah but you've never seen what a great movie though <laughs> um your your criminalities if you were a criminal you'd be a Mr Big uh basically you can run any number of operations simultaneously by planning but while planning the next audacious job and ordering a call of weaker vessels in the organization or an assassin. Oh, are you jealous? I'm jealous. God damn it. Um, is it, sorry, really quick, yeah. is it True Lies? I'm going back to True Lies for a second. Isn't that the one where Arnold gets in a helicopter and the bad guy's on the missile and, yeah. and Arnold goes like, you're fired, and he shoots him and blows yes. him up the missile? I, I love how you answer that, having never seen the movie. Um, <laughs> it just sounds right. Yes. It, yes, it is. And you know what? We should watch that tonight. Okay. <gasps> Jamie Lee Curtis right. drops a gun, and it's a great moment. We gotta, we gotta finish Katie's here. Her vacations from ha hell are um, a summer camp fun for all, <laughs> for all the family vacation, where so, you might have to join in, dress up, and look ridiculous. Summer camps, everybody's oh, vacation. Oh, this is from perfect. Hell. This is perfect. This is perfect. Um, spiritual detox at an Oregon ashram, where you have to surrender control to a guru. Well, all yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Um, Jack's feeling this. Jack is feeling this, apparently, uh, real well. Um, and then your uh, third vacation from hell is uh, Murder Weekend. You will know who done it in 10 seconds, and there's not a mini bar in the world big enough to get you through the following 48 hours. <laughs> so how do you feel about that, Katie? Um, uh, and actually, is it, is and Jack as well, because he also is, is a Taurus. Uh, is Jack also a Taurus? Well, that, that's what he said. Uh, Jack, what is your star sign? Because we'll go through that as well. It's he, the hangover. We can, we can. If it's a Taurus, I get a weird owl <laughs> horoscope for you. Or at least I thought he horoscopes said horoscopes are meant to be specific, Adam. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He says Jack says hot cocoa ready for my Taurus oh, reading too. Oh, right. this is interesting. Yeah, very okay. interesting. All right. So if uh, I'm still waiting for Katie to respond, if she actually um, felt, if she felt that was pretty on. Uh, uh, she doesn't spend a lot of time with her dark side. Okay. How wholesome is but that? She, maybe she should. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, for those of that you, uh, Jack and Katie, that felt an alignment with uh, that horoscope, uh, that was actually Scorpios. I read Scorpios to you. Oh, so damn. So maybe you're really you're a Scorpio. Mean. You're a um, mean person. So <laughs> pistachio shot for everybody? Pistachio shot for everyone. We don't have any. Yeah. Uh, so now... Now I will read Tauruses, and we'll see if, uh, <laughs> that was like a science experiment. It, yes, pure science. That's what we do here. We do science on Cosmos Cosmos. All right. Taurus is a feminine fixed earth sign ruled by Venus. It is the second sign of the zodiac wheel directly opposite Scorpio. Oh, okay. And is named for the constellation Taurus, the bull. Which plods and bellows behind the sun at this time of year. I don't know what time of year they're referring to. Just any time of year? Because yeah. it, it depends when you're reading this book. Yeah. Anyway, on the dark side, this makes you a stubborn, sybaritic, rut-bound bully fueled by dull resentment and an insatiable love of money. <laughs> sybaritic. <laughs> wow. I'm, I don't know the meaning of that word. I've never heard it before in my life. I did not take the SATs. Um, your personality is obdurate, opinionated, and obdurate. overpowering. The three O's, three classic O's. Uh, your bitch rating, though, C+. Plus. Oh, C plus. only a C+. Plus. Yeah, others think it is because you are naturally kind and charitable, but they are wrong. It's not that you don't want a bitch. You're just too slow-witted to really make an impact. When you do try, you make dull, painful remarks about other people's lack of fashion sense or money. Wow. Now, 
I know this isn't true because Katie does have a nice, quick, sharp wit. Um, <laughs> definitely not dull-witted. Uh, you are ruled by the planet Venus. We've already been over that. Oh, lunatic combinations. Let's see. Um, uh, I don't know what any of that means, so we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna skip that. Um, oh, oh, for for love. Oh, let's see. Sorry, too soon. Um, let's see. Where is? Oh, there's no. There's no. It's uh, just love. I'm doing sex now. Oh, no, okay. I couldn't All find, right. I, it wasn't what I was thinking it was going to be. All right. For sex, slow, sensuous, and suffocating. <laughs> 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 so horrific. Okay. Jack likes a nap. All right. So uh, basically, uh, apparently love ratting, ratting, love ratting, love like a love rat is not your sport. Um, when you've got something, you hang on to it. That's kind of, actually kind of sweet. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Incompatibility rating. Here we go with love matches. Let's do just j- jump to Capricorn. Uh, they have more bank accounts than you. <laughs> That's nice. Is that what Adam is? Oh. Well, I mean. Anyway. <laughs> Vacations from hell. Snowboarding with Gemini and Sagittarius. Uh, could wet, dangerous, unpredictable, cold, wet, dangerous, unpredictable, and no regular meals. <laughs> so no camping. Hard? No uh, camping. Anywhere you have not been to before, unless it has been recommended by your Capricorn bank manager who understands. <laughs> so basically, Katie doesn't like to vacation anywhere she hasn't been before, unless maybe now Adam, if Adam recommends it. Yeah. Um, anywhere. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Any, I'm getting it back right now. Anywhere with Virgo tightwads and Pisces incompetence, you will end up paying for everything because you are the only one with a functioning credit card. <laughs> <laughs> um, and some some ones who share the Tauruses with uh, Jack and Katie, uh, Genghis Khan, which oh wow, I mean he accomplished comps a lot, a lot. A lot. Yeah, a lot. Um, Karl Marx. Act, wait, well, uh, let's go back. Genghis Khan actually uh, sired a quarter yeah. of an entire yeah, country's population. Yeah, he accomplished a lot. A lot. Well, and isn't this to this day like twenty percent of all Asian men yeah. are directly in the Yeah, Genghis he accomplished Khan? a lot. Too much. <laughs> uh, Karl Marx. Yeah. Well, you know. Uh, Adolf Hitler. Ooh. Just keeps getting better. Uh, Tito. Who? Tito. Leader Tito. of the feuding a... factionist states oh, no. formerly known not, as Yugoslavia. Not Tito Jackson. <laughs> um, and Saddam Hussein. Holy shit. Wow. What great company. Wow. Holy fuck. Who do I share with? Oh, okay. Uh, you share with Henry VIII. Okay, so... All right, you didn't uh... give me... You didn't give me a son, so... Boom, off with yeah, the head. You just, but it's yeah. my fault. You just cut off every wife's head. But it's my fault. Yeah, it would be your fault. <laughs> um, J.J. Rousseau, a philosopher, a paranoid French philosopher. Yeah, well. Uh, Marcel Proust, a French writer. Okay. Uh, who cocooned himself in a soundproof apartment in Paris and spent his days in bed and his nights working. It took 12 years to write a seven-volume novel about retrieving the past. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Edward Hopper, American artist, Nighthawks, uh, and Franz Kafka. Okay. All right. Cool. cool. All right. All right. Brandon. Brandon. So Is in the company of Napoleon Bonaparte. Hey. Oh. Uh, Benito Mussolini. Ooh. Hell yeah. Fidel. He was actually part of my senior quote, fun fact. Fid- Fidel Castro. Now all I can uh, all I can envision is Brandon with whiskey and a cigar. Oh, but wait, <clears throat> Andy Warhol. Oh, <laughs> what? That's wait a minute, what? Fidel Castro and Andy, Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol, and and with a finale of Madonna. Hey, Love like a virgin. Just a bunch of socialists and one material girl. <laughs> <laughs> and I. Or any other Virgos out there share the Halls of Fame with Ivan the Terrible. Okay, okay. Actually, that's my dad's birthday, September 4th. 
Although in 1530. Um, Cardinal Richelieu, which shares my birthday almost to the exact... It's September 9th, 1585, and I was born September 9th, 1985. Holy shit. Ooh, anyone, anyone else that got chills was just... Yeah, like... it's crazy. Uh, Prime Minister of France and top cat class lackey to King Louis the uh, 13th. Richelieu. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, D.H. Lawrence, uh, English author of the infamous Lady Shadowly's Lover, and... You write porn. And Greta Garbo. Classy porn. Greta Garbo. Hey. Hey. That's cool. Hey. Cool. All of that of which... Means nothing. Absolutely meaningless. Absolutely (laughs) fucking meaningless. (sighs) But it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. And now, for fun, because I want to, I want to read the Weird Owl horoscope for Taurus. Okay. (laughs) Yes. So Taurus... You will never find true happiness. What are you going to do? Cry about it? The stars predict tomorrow you wake up, do a bunch of stuff, then go back to sleep. <laughs> that's Taurus. That's, that's beautiful. What's we need? Cancer, was it? What, what else do cancer. we need? Cancer. Let's do cancer. Oh, we did me, right? No, from Weird Al. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Let's cancer. do me. Let's do me. The, cancer. the position of Jupiter says that you should spend the rest face down in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to shove a roll of duct tape up your nose while you're taking a driver's test. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, Virgo. Virgo. All Virgos are extremely friendly and intelligent. Except for you. <laughs> Expect a big surprise today when you wind up with your head impaled upon a stick. <laughs> yes. Oh, I got to do... Um. Uh, we, we do have a Capricorn points. in the audience. So we got to check out the Capricorns. Uh, Capricorn, by the way, is December 22nd through January 20th. Also, are these the exact dates to which the, when the sun is traveling through these constellations? Yeah, what is just, the, um... Just go with it. Yeah. <laughs> Capricorn is a feminine cardinal earth sign ruled by Saturn. Oh, that's cool. You get Saturn. You, you get rings, man. Um, it is the 10th sign in the zodiac wheel directly opposite Cancer. <gasps> And his name for the constellation Capricorn, the goat, or some pendants insist the you know sea what? goat. Okay, I it does goats. look like a sea goat because the constellation drawing from whatever constellation set we used, at least in our planetarium, it had like a mermaid it, tail. Yeah, it looked like this like really weird combination of a sea goat and uh, like well a goat and this like sea monster. Yes, and so and so I would say whenever I would bring up Capricorn, and then I would say. It's a goat, or more like sea goat, and I would make a joke out of it. So, better. Yeah, and people would chuckle. I they would chuckle. They would. They would. I realize they're laughing at me and not with me, but it's okay. There's nothing better than the bad planetary joke that gets a chuckle. I love it. That's my favorite I love it thing. So much. On but the... everybody remembers it, and they come back, and they want those same yeah, jokes. Yeah, they want those jokes, just like they want the Mobius. Jokes. Give the people cake. All right, on the dark side, Capricorn, this makes you a cold, cruel, petty-minded slave driver with an unsuspected yet unquenchable ambition and an addiction to tight-fisted penny-pinching. Yes, and Adam, you're cold because I didn't get that pie cake in for Christmas. I just want you to know. (laughs) So far, he's like, yeah, he's on board. Mm -hmm, Uh, mm -hmm. Your personality is petty parsimonious and pessimistic yeah spot on because i actually, get my cake kind of actually sounds like me though because i've really turned into my dad with the frugalness and i'm pretty uh i'm pretty uh um pessimistic about a lot of things all right your bitch rating b plus plus b plus plus you don't really have the spontaneity to bitch since it's undignified but you write exoriating emails and sharply worded letters to the more respected newspapers when you feel your status is being impunged. To the newspapers? Newspapers. This was written in 2004. Adam, Adam, do you write to the newspapers, Adam? (laughs) Who writes to the newspapers anymore? Um, Who besides me writes to newspapers? (laughs) Your planet is Saturn, which makes you a stern, stifling, and strong-willed. Um, Fast forward. Fast forward. 
fast forward, fast forward to uh, sex. Mm. <laughs> Wrong. Okay. But go ahead. Sex. You can't judge a book. Dot dot dot. Um. You don't. You can't dump. judge a book. What? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you don't dump. You have a binding agreement in parentheses, uh, unless betrayed. When your revenge is terrible and reaches down the generations. What? Wow. Wow. Generations. Oh my gosh. However, few people ever even know that they are the object of your affection, for you despise flirting and never under the, utter the L word again after you have fulfilled statutory demands by saying it once, Lesbian. usually out of anyone's hearing. All right. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, let's see your incompatibility rating with, I don't know, let's say uh, Tauruses. Uh, they do it their way, you do it your way. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, for work, uh, your dream jobs are loss adjuster, sneering at people who fitted substandard burglar alarms or forgot to lock the restroom window and writing damning reports so insurance companies can pay out on the Scrooge scale and as late as possible. Um, <laughs> he's not a fan of this reading so far. <laughs> hey man, I don't make the rules on when you're born and how that affects you. <laughs> Uh, your second dream job is politician. Uh, oh. if, <laughs> okay. Okay. if you were a criminal, it would be for, uh, insider trading. Goes with politician. Also politician. Really. politician Goes with uh, politician. Right? Am I right? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, or <laughs> a pimp slash madam. I meant what? Yeah. Uh, your inner goat knows all about lust and lechery and how it can part temporarily blinded fools from their money. Your outer goat understands how to harness and organize this dionastic power to make it pay. Dionastic coming from uh, the uh, Greek god Dionysus, the god of wine and parties. That wow. was a little Greek, wow. Greek history with Liz. <laughs> he said maybe. He said maybe on the insider trading. <laughs> and a full yes on being the madam. I like it. I like it. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, oh, that's right. Um, uh, vacations from hell. Uh, a week in Vegas with Sagittarius and Gemini. Um, this is the money. The money being thrown away. Um, a month in unknown territory with Aries and Pisces. Um, and two weeks in a Danish nudist colony with health-obsessed Virgo. Well, that's not going to happen, so. <laughs> 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 and you share, you share uh, history with Edgar Allan Poe. Hey, that's all right. Good. That's a good one. Uh, Herman Goring. Ooh, not so much. Not as bad as Hitler, though, Tauruses. Mao Zedong. No, no, not so much, no. Jack. Oh. I don't know what Jack's barking at, but he's barking at something. Cheers, everyone. He's barking at these fucking horoscopes. (laughs) Yeah, he's like, this is bullshit. I got hair. Okay. Uh, J. Edgar Hoover. Okay, well, uh, Adam dress in a dress. Uh, and Charles Adams, with two Ds, known as Chill to his friends, Adams grew up on Elm Street in Westfield, New Jersey, and as a boy liked visiting graveyards. Best known for his cartoon take on domestic life with the gothically undead Adams family. Oh, oh shit! Oh, that's a good and one. he collected medieval crossbows! Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. You cool. can do that? You can collect medieval crossbows? Uh, uh, in 1912-ish, apparently you oh, could. Oh, that makes more sense. Makes more sense. <laughs> in the early 1900s, you could collect medieval crossbows. Anything. You know what? Like, they're, probably what? Like, they're probably like moon rocks. They're not real. <laughs> they're not well, real. One of my favorite things that people used to collect in the 1800s was mummies. They would ground up the mummies made in Egypt and put them in paint so you would have mummy brown. And that was an actual paint people used in England. So they would collect mummies, ground them up, and use them in paint. You know, like, they've done a lot of weird shit with mummies, so... We gotta paint a room. And <laughs> mummy, mummy brown. brown. Mummy brown. That sounds horrible. We'll, we'll make it a closet. That sounds It'll horrible. just be small. God, it sounds like 
mummified shit or something. No, Are this you? is this <laughs> is there. mummified royalty. This is Nefertiti do they, herself. Do they clean out the entrails of the mummies? Well, they take out important parts and put them in the right, canopic so jars. Part of that? Yeah, but not not the entrails. It was like the liver, the heart. Well, I don't know about the liver, but the heart definitely. I don't know what they did with the. We need to find out. You want know. to be a you want to be a mummy, so you what need to weird figure turn this out. Will this take? Um, Jack on Sorry. Twitch says that uh, apparently no, his he had a uh, beautiful crossbows. Uh, there were pictures in one of his books. Oh, so Ooh. no crossbow huh. scams. They're all it's all a scam. So um. Yeah, so astrology and, and horoscopes are, are, are bullshit. And this book, by the way, it's thick. I just, there were just snippets. Like, this is... Who who are we compatible with? Does it say? Oh, 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 yeah, I didn't do our... I couldn't do it, our compatibility, because I couldn't give away... We're a, probably not compatible, but... No, no one's <laughs> compatible with anything. This is no. the dark side. This is evil evil zodiac happening. Um, all right, let's Who see. are you doing first? I'm doing you. All right. I just have to find the page. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. You with a Virgo. Uh, they insist on pouring bleach into your rock pool. <laughs> what? What? You you pour bleach into my what? Your rock pool. What? One word. Rock pool. One what? word. What is that? I don't... It's exactly what you think it is, Mike. A pool of rocks? I want to pour bleach <laughs> in that shit. Oh, oh, okay. Apparently. Okay. What? What's your? Who are you incompatible with? All right. Well, no, I just picked your sign because. All right. You so know, uh, couples. Yeah. Then we have to do Brandon. <laughs> um. You are gonna like. All uh, right. Uh, you're cancer. gonna edit out all the page turning, aren't you? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> cancer will always be able to worry on a more cosmic sta- scale than you ever can. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so so I I you, worry more than you. You worry more than me? I that guess so. can't be right. That can't be right at all. All right, what about Brandon? Yeah, Brandon. Brandon, yes. pick a sign, any sign. We'll uh uh We'll read how incompatible you are. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Uh let's go with um which one we haven't really mentioned yet on the show too much. Um um, anything that's not a Capricorn. Pisces? For, okay, Pisces. Yeah, Pisces, yeah, yeah Pisces. we have not even mentioned that. Pisces. Because fuck, fuck them Pisces. <laughs> um, pleasingly servile, but always run away with Guinevere, or Lancelot, in the end. <laughs> <laughs> so, does that mean that all Pisces are bisexual? Mm-hmm. That, no, it's it's depending on your gender as the, no, I no, oh, that no. is not how it read. Depending on well, because you're reading it as a Leo, so as a Leo with Pisces, he would be a he. So pleasingly servile, but always run away with. You don't know that you don't no. know my pronoun. No. No. Okay. <laughs> all actually, it is. all Pisces, <laughs> all Pisces are bisexual. So that that's that's what astrology that says. The claim that you're making. No, I I don't make that claim. Astrology makes that claim. Oh, astrology makes that. Okay. So basically, um, I, don't go with Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> don't go with any sure. of them. Sure. So, all right. Um, so, Liz, you were in charge of, like, hiring at one point for the planetarium, right? So, sure. Yeah. Uh, no, people would come in, they would do... A uh, a fake show, right? Yes. For I don't you. like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, right. because I did what you did. <laughs> right. So I don't think, if I remember right, anybody mentioned astrology. But if anybody actually, because I actually had this happen once, where somebody said something about astrology in their interview, um, and it was just like, you're not, you're not, hired at all period <laughs> if you mention astrology in in your interview uh-huh. no you're you're what, done. what if that's like you you know decline to offer them a job because of their religious beliefs astrology is not protected under <laughs> first amendment 
podcast. I I never I said astrology was the reason why you were not hired. So. But. <laughs> wow, I can't even actually think of that happening. But you know what? Uh, at this point, they can sue Arizona Science Center. I don't care. Oh, you know what, Brandon? You might actually want to go with a Pisces. I just flipped to a page, and apparently their dream jobs are world dictator or world's greatest lover. Either one. Mm-hmm. Dictator, Honestly, you know, lover. Either one. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> it's truth. It's truth. Spread, it's truth. Spread the word, Liz. Let it be known from across the mountaintop to the cities below that astrology is the choice of all wise peoples. Hashtag truth. You know, I actually really, you know what? I would say it really surprises me and it does surprise me, but at the same time, like I would never, like I had a friend who has a star bot for her, um, from her ex-husband. <laughs> and at the time I was like, oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Not yeah. realizing that you can't do that until I actually, learned some astronomy and started in the planetarium and it was like, oh yeah, okay, that's obviously um, bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. And it's easy to believe because it's set up so official. Yeah. You get a certificate. They give you, you know, corners in the sky to look. So I, I get it that it's, it's very susceptible. But yeah. you just got to look into it. I mean, no one knows. The, uh, most people don't know the IAU and who names stars and and. And that's and what they're banking that. on. Uh, yeah. That's what they're banking on. Literally. literally. <laughs> Quite literally. That's what they're banking on. Yeah. 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 And uh, it's like, especially you know. Especially if you own land on the moon. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that, that acre. Twenty nine nine nine. Yeah. And clearly, uh, judging by the amount of people that came into the planetarium, it's effective. It, it, it truly oh, it is. is effective. Yeah. yeah. You know? And I mean, it's like astrology. It's, it's you know. I can see how people can think that it's real because they end up using real scientific terms or real astrological ter- astronomical terms like retrograde motion and right. you know occ- occultations and and all these sorts of things you know and then not really having an understanding of how the planets interact which is really just via the sun's gravity um you know, and it, because it's something that's been around for so long in just culture in general, you know, it makes sense that people would get it. Um, apparently, Jack in the planetarium would do a test with people he was hiring on pronouncing Scorpio versus Scorpius and Capricorn Ooh. versus Capricornus. Ooh. That actually is pretty good. That's good. That's good. That is good. I'm trying to think. Well... Yeah, it would really only work with Scorpius and Capricornus because, I mean, Leo, Leo is Leonidas. Leo, Gemini. Yeah, but Leo isn't Leonidas. I know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, I think it just all boils down to we need more science education. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, is. Just across the board. Um, I, I think if there's anything that 2020 has taught us, and the start of 2021 is that we need more science education. I, I will just say education in general. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I think if you have more science education, you will have people that realize that uh, buying a star is not a legit thing. And, and even, sadly education isn't the end all either we can have the exact same education but still end up with the buffalo hat in the capitol building and me end up where i am having gone to the exact same high school as the guy so it's not necessarily about the education it's all about the, the cultural implementation as well yeah that's true that's critical true. thinking skills is a great way to Cri- critical thinking is great critical thinking is really uh, important um, Katie also brings up a question. Uh, wasn't there a story about Brandon's <laughs> interview in the planetary? Take it away, Liz. Yes. Take it away. It's a beautiful yes. story. Katie, I'm gonna there was. This. I and I think we should tell that. Beautiful, um, pleasant uh, day in a month of mm-hmm. a year. Mm-hmm. Um, and and uh, Brandon. You know, Brandon, if you had just read your horoscope that morning, you, you would have known. known. I would have known. Now to show up to work. <laughs> uh, and, <laughs> and, 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 instead, it'd be better for you. Brandon was a uh, employee at 
the institution that we worked at on uh, on the floor, and and he decided to apply for the position in the planetarium, and that was great. And we were like, cool. And we're like, hey, anytime you're looking need, forward to this, uh, you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to do a little five minute planetarium show for us. I had even gone in earlier to talk with Linda, the coworker at the time, and like she showed me around the iPad, had a good time with it. It was great fun, so I thought I was prepared. And also, Brandon um, could have, as an employee, watched any planetarium show that he wanted. Mm-hmm. And I did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he could, he could see what they were all about. Uh, gave him time to, hey, if you want to practice, come on in. Practice in the planetarium. Uh, get ready. So the, the day comes for Brandon's interview. Uh, shows up. We give him a little bit of time uh, in the dome ahead of time. No. No, no, I, I just want to, at this point, where, where my mind is at. So you give me a little bit of time, and I'm super excited about this potential planetarium job. Mm-hmm. So y'all walk around, the lights go off, and the stars come up, I look up. Because I went out uh, beforehand to, like, my night sky, um, out, like, 20 mm-hmm. minutes waiting for Phoenix. And got, mm-hmm. Okay, there's this, this, I know what mm-hmm. shit's at. Cool. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. So we get to planetarium, lights go off, stars come on, mm-hmm. I look up, fuck. Where the fuck is everything? Yep. There's so <laughs> many stars here. <laughs> Okay. Um, Not only did he have that feeling, he told us that feeling yep. as oh, we yeah. walk into the planetarium. Yeah, yeah. What's going on, guys? I need help. Yeah, I think we ended up giving him extra time to just kind of get familiar. Yes, we did. We did give extra time. And then was like, okay, let us know when you're ready. Because, yeah, the problem with uh, using the real night sky in a city area to practice for a interview in a planetarium is not going to look the same. It's going to be a lot more shit shrunk down in the planetarium that you get easily lost in. Yes, <laughs> very much. Um, and so we give him a, a few extra minutes so he can just kind of get accustomed and find his bearings a little bit. Uh, we come back in, uh, the, the interview starts. Um, and he, he's going along and I believe he, he missed something or you corrected him on something. Um, he got, he had a little script. He got a little script. It was completely written out. He got, he got very lost, um, and then, and confused. And then he threw it down onto the ground (laughs) and, and that was it. (coughs) And I, I will. It was beautiful. You can go ahead and put your thing. I will beautiful. never forget the script just I knew. flying. I knew it was lost, so I thought, you know what? Fuck it. Boom. It was probably a great experience for me, though. I don't regret it. I hate hearing it every single time, but I grew from it and became much better because of it. Well, I would say you went that. went down the rabbit hole. That was a rabbit hole and a half into um, shitting on astrology plus uh, planetarium uh, remembrances. Yeah, we weren't shitting on planetarium remembrances. No, though. it was shitting we on just having... we're just shitting on astrology, and we we're having fond remembrances of. Very fond. I feel like I'm missing a word. Right. That is shorter than fond remembrances. <laughs> Uh, but you know what? That actually brings up a great uh, a great thing is if anybody actually has a fond planetarium remembrance, remembrance <laughs> we would love to hear it. We actually would love to hear it. And Hashtag we, fond planetarium remembrances. That, yeah. Now that we've lost all our audiences. <laughs> yeah. and, and we would share that with Jack. She's yeah. also part of the community. You know what the best thing, though, is that with our hangovers, is that really uh, the only way to see this hangover episode is by joining us live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Cosmos with Cosmos, or by going to our YouTube channel at YouTube, I don't know, Google Cosmos with Cosmos. It doesn't have a <laughs> short link to it. And the hangovers are posted there, although highly edited because time. Right, right. Anyway... With all that. With all that. I would say this is a Cosmos Cosmos hangover yeah. on Space Scams. Right. And we'll yeah, see you in a couple three weeks. Three A plus plus bitches. Yeah. We got some That's bitches in the house. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway. All right. Oh, wait. So, also, I, yes. I haven't had, in like every episode, we've had a special appearance. So I just need to make sure to get him in here. Oh, yeah. yes. Smeagol. Smeagol is here. I missed you, Smeagol. 
I was wondering where the you pressure. were, Smeeks. I got you. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Smeeks. Yes. Don't don't be Gollum though. Don't be Gollum. Hashtag don't, don't be Gollum. Don't be, don't be Gollum. Don't be Gollum out there. Katie was wondering where he was. Well, mystery right solved. Next to me. He's I love an it. arm length away from me every night I fall asleep. Anyway, uh, we will see you guys in a couple weeks. Hashtag Bye. your vote matters. Hashtag fun planetary remembrances. And we'll see you later. This is Cosmos of Cosmos signing off Deuces. with Hangover. Bye, everybody. Peace.